Hello YouTube, my name is Taylor Alasana and this video is a contouring kit video. I'll be showing you my brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It has six colors. The colors I read to you are Sand, Vanilla, Banana, Java, Fawn, and Havana. I'll open it up. Very highly pigmented. Highlight colors, contour colors, gray undertones for almost all of the contouring colors and pink undertones for these two and a yellow for this one so it really does pull off that all natural look it all depends on how much you use but these colors are very highly pigmented and I am absolutely in love with them um, yesterday was Valentine's Day so I did go and pick this up as a little present for myself um, I do hope you all enjoy the tutorial and before I speak anymore I'll show you the tutorial Okay, so with this, I'm going to take a Sonia Kushak brush. I do believe this is number 124. It looks something like this. And there are six colors in here. I'll read the colors to you. And, Vanilla, Banana, Java, Fawn, and Havana. So, this, and I'm going to be using mostly this tone for the contour because it has a great undertone and then for the highlight I'll probably be using this one the middle one so let's get started so on this one because your question I'm gonna start with the contouring and this is in fawn I believe we're gonna mix it around it's very creamy it's very not so much powdery and we're gonna be placing in the hollows of our cheeks so I'm gonna bring it down like this and I'm actually going to bring it up or around to the side of the nose. And you can see the, already the difference because the shadowing and contouring now. This is in the light, so. But we're going to blend that out a little bit. We don't want to blend too much because it is, we are making a shadow effect. And we'll do the same to the other side. So it should look something like this. And this is with both sides shadowed. And now we're going to go on and do the forehead. Before we do a highlight, we're going to finish up the contour. So I'm going to be, again, taking the middle color. I believe it is fawn. And we're just going to round out our forehead. I have a very masculine forehead, so we're just going to go around it like this. We want to connect our contours. And then we're going to take an even deeper tone. I believe this one is Java. And I'm just going to just dust it right on up here on the sides of the forehead since mine goes so far up. And it should look something like this. We can even dust a little bit in the middle just to kind of give that rounded effect. And now the jawline. We're going to be again taking the grayest tone and just going down the jawline like this kind of rounding it out or doing however you feel it would look better you can already see the major difference here it looks like there is no, it doesn't go as far out doing the same to the other side and now it should look something like this now we're going to be doing our highlight for our cheekbones I'm going to be starting off with this pinkish tone on this side right here Pink will be an undertone for this. It will give the more natural effect. So I believe this is in sand. And we're just going to dust a little bit on right here. Just in the beginning part of the highlight. And sweep back. And now that's really going to emphasize how much contour you have. So we will be blending it through. And then we're going to take the middle tone, the sand. And we're just going to dust that throughout it. We're going to dust that up and out. Same as for the forehead, we're going to be taking the middle tone and just doing a round, going around, making a circle. And that's going to add this dome like effect. And we're going to be using the far tone, this one in banana. And we are just going to bring it down at the bottom of the contour 
And now we can fully blend it all through. And now it should look something like this. So already that's a huge difference. I mean, a highlight contour all done in a matter of minutes. Um, this palette I feel is the best palette I've got for contouring. It beats out Makeup Forever, MAC. Um, it beats out all of their contouring powders. I just love this palette. Now we are going to be taking a shading brush by Real Techniques. We're going to be doing our nose. And this is the shading brush. I'm not sure the number. I know it's called shading brush. We're going to be taking the grayish tone, the middle one. And tap a little bit off. We don't want it too strong when we're going to be doing our nose. So I like to follow my natural contour, but just go a little bit in. Kind of emphasize it. And it will start off very strong. So be aware of that. Just because it came out really strong doesn't mean you did anything wrong. You just have to kind of blend it all through. And now we're going to be taking our lightest color. This is the sand. We're going to be running that straight down and up and through here. And then it should look something like this. So all that, that is forehead, cheekbones, jawline, and nose done. So I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial about how to use this. And yeah, um, one thing about contouring colors are uh, you want a gray undertone because you're playing with shadows. Shadows are gray, they're not brown. Um, you can use light browns or dark browns. You can use browns. It just, it's going to add a better effect with um, contouring kits with gray undertones. This was about $43 total. It was the Anastasia and I used my VIB Rogue card and it was still about $43. Um, it is absolutely to die for and I am completely in love with this. I did use a Sonia Kushak brush for it. This is in number 124 and I feel this is great for blending and highlighting. So I feel if any of you are looking for a contouring kit, go grab this one. It's great for its price, and I'm probably going to be using it every day. It's going to save you a lot of time in the morning. I can promise you that. It's probably going to save you 10 minutes. I used to spend about 20 minutes doing my contouring because I would use liquids, and this just outstands it all. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always check out the website. Um, go through Sephora or even Anastasia.net has all of their products and more about their products so it came in a little thing just like this and this one just says contour kit kit contour Anastasia Beverly Hills and I know we all look at Anastasia for brows because I mean their brow gel is what I'm using today and their brow pencils you can draw on individual hairs with so I feel that outstands most brow things but they have broken the line with um, their products. They j released this about eight months ago, I believe. And you know what? If they this, I feel is better than the brow stuff. I mean, they broke the line. I feel they're one of my favorite um, brands now, other than Kat Von D. So definitely go check this out. And I will see you all next weekend. Bye.